and welcome back to Lisa's Virtual Kitchen. I am Lisa and Happy New Year's! <laughs> so for New Year's Eve we have been invited to some friend's house um, for a party and I am going to make a New Year's Eve um, black cherry brownie trifle or you might want to call it a black forest trifle. So anyway let's get started. Okay, we're going to go in the oven at 350 to 50 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. So our next component to this trifle is pudding. So that's what I'm about to make, some chocolate pudding. So this is one envelope of chocolate pudding. To two cups of milk. until it's all combined and then we'll put it in the refrigerator overnight actually. You don't have to do that but I am because I'm going to assemble the trifle tomorrow. And that's just because I'm going to be taking it to a party and I want it to be fresh. <laughs> the brownies are not done yet. I just checked. I got batter on my toothpick. So now I'm going to increase it because I did a double batch, so I didn't think it was going to be done in 22 minutes. So I think I'm going to increase it five more minutes and just do five minute increments until I think it's done. So that's what I'm going to do. So one of my next components for this trifle is cherries. And I bought um, some frozen cherries. So I'm just going to add a little sugar to my cherries to sweeten them up and let them sit in the refrigerator put some sugar on them overnight. Brownies are good and done now. I have my brownies done, I have my pudding done, and my cherries are marinating in sugar. So I'm gonna let all, I'm gonna get all my components done tonight. Tomorrow night's our New Year's Eve party, so I want the trifle to be fresh. So we will be back tomorrow and we will assemble the trifle tomorrow afternoon. So happy New Year's and I will see you tomorrow. Hi everybody, welcome back. It's the next day and we are now going to assemble our Black Forest trifle. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna need the whole pan of brownies yet. So I'm just gonna crumble up half of it at first and see how it goes. So these are nice and fudgy brownies. <laughs> the way my husband likes them. You know, out of curiosity, yesterday my husband and I got on our was asking Alexa. <laughs> Never mind, Alexa. Anyway, we were asking Alexa where the brownies first came from, and 
I believe it was in the late 1800s in Chicago. So that was quite fascinating. I can't remember the name of the person that baked the first brownies, but I believe it was probably a mistake because cake, um, I, I don't know if it was a mistake or not, but you know, it, it said it was a derivative of chocolate cake. So in my opinion, maybe somebody made a mistake and left an ingredient out or something. Who knows? And that's why they're more dense. And then you have the brownie. <laughs> so. All right, our first layer is gonna be brownie. Believe it or not, this is my first time ever making a trifle. <laughs> I'm not sure of the quantity that I need for each layer. So I'm going to be eyeballing it. If you remember yesterday I put some sugar in these cherries to sweeten them up a little. It worked. I do want to get a little bit of this juice. I don't want to soak the brownies in this juice, but I do want to get a little bit of it. So that's why I'm using a slotted spoon. chocolate pudding. I'm using my pastry bags because I wanted to make sure you could see all the layers. Pastry bags going rogue. <laughs> there we go. And now I'm going to do some New Year's Eve sprinkles. Let's see, we'll do a little bit of gold. product my black forest trifle and um, so I think this is gonna be the hit of the party what do you think <laughs> so hope you guys have a very new uh, happy New Year's Eve and I know we will and please don't forget to like and subscribe 
and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Yum. So good. <laughs> Need to make this? And happy new year.